Have you ever dreamed of visiting the Holy Land? This is your chance. The Full Circle hosts, along with Ron Maines, want to host you in this once-in-a-lifetime tour that will bring your Bible to life. Experience the beauty of Israel and visit the stunning ancient city of Petra. Go on a 4x4 Jeep tour of the desert or be baptized in the Jordan River, March 22nd to April 5th. Visit FullCircleTV.com to sign up now. Seating is limited. Married or single, stay-at-home mom or CEO, all women were designed by God to be in relationship. Join the Sofa Sisters this fall as Full Circle presents an exciting women's conference, vibrant relationships with God, family, and community. Guests include best-selling authors Bill and Pam Farrell with worship and music by Steve Bell, Oakville, October 15th, London, November 12th, and Barrie, November 19th. Visit FullCircleTV.com to order your tickets, download posters, and invite your friends. We're going to continue our conversation with marriage and family therapist Colleen Blake Miller. Colleen, before the break, you shared how, against your better judgment, you went through with an abortion, not telling uh, anyone outside of your very small circle of friends yeah. for two years. two years. But finally, you did tell. Yeah. What happened? So um, I, as I mentioned, was working at a crisis pregnancy center at the time, and God just so had it that we were going away on a conference and uh, he had my executive director somehow. She signed me up for the post-abortion track to, to get trained to support women who have gone through an abortion. Mm. And I thought, well, what's happening? I was like, does she know? And like in my mind, right? And I'm thinking, what, what are you doing, God? But anyway, I, I did it and I was excited because you know, I'm, I, I'm also in need of, 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 of that information myself. So throughout the uh, course of the week that we were there, um, I very clearly heard the Holy Spirit speak to me and tell me, Colleen, I cannot use you completely like fully with you keeping this a secret. You need to, you know, you need to, to, to come out of the dark and you need to share with the people that you're working with and with your family, you know, what happened. And it was not, it, it was so clear. I, I had a choice, a very clear choice, either to, to listen and, and, and walk in obedience or, you know, kind of do what was comfortable and safe. And I made the decision I was so scared, but um, I, I, I spoke to the, the woman that was training and she kind of walked me through and, and really supported me via email, that kind of thing, even after I got home. And I, and I like I shared with my, my, the staff that I worked with, and it was really, really difficult um, um, to go through, but, but God uh, demonstrated his unconditional love mm -hmm. for me through through that experience and through telling my family. I think that was probably the best experience. Um, talking to my mother and my father, um, they it was like God's love. I felt it mm -hmm. through the way that they, um, you know, supported me and encouraged me. The words that they used, no judgment whatsoever. You know, their focus was two years. You, you dealt with this on your own for two mm -hmm. years, um, and so much life. Um, and, and so much blessing has come from, from, from walking in obedience. Yeah. I just, That's, yeah, that, you know, Colleen, it says a lot about truth, mm -hmm. that when you actually share and you're open and you're willing to be honest, what that does, it frees you. It Absolutely. frees people from the bondage of Absolutely. the lie Absolutely. of that, you know, this is who you are and you begin to believe that identity. But That's wasn't right. there a freedom when you Absolutely. finally shared? Uh, when, when I remember telling, I was sitting in my parents' living room and I was like, I feel like I could shout from the rooftops. I feel like I could shout this from the rooftops yeah. because so many times I'd be worshiping or serving in ministry and the enemy was forever whispering in my ear, like, look at these people, they're so pleased with you, but they have no clue who you really are, mm -hmm. right? And and that's kind of how he, uh, the enemy kept me feeling like I'm somehow not, you know, like, measuring up or not like good enough to be used by God, which was a lie. Mm -hmm. So once I broke out of that by God's grace, I was able to see so much clearer. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, what I love about your story, and you know, it's not unique. Mm -hmm. I think we need to say that. This no, is not, not unique. Mm -hmm. And so many people yeah. are suffering in silence. And, and the one thing I've learned about um, sin, shame, all of that, that the only way to overcome it 
is to speak it out. Yeah, and, and you know, right. sometimes you have to choose the right person. That's right. Right? Yeah. Somebody who's going to handle it properly and speak grace and forgiveness into your life. That's God's right. grace and mm -hmm. forgiveness. Mm -hmm. But you know, I think I, I went through not an abortion, but when I was, I was young, I also crossed those boundaries and had a sexual relationship. And I did have a day where I thought I might have been pregnant. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking about abortion mm. for the first time in my life and I was just as against it as you are. It was never on the radar, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But it's that panic about like, I'm gonna bring shame to my family and what are my parents gonna think and it's gonna ruin my life and, mm -hmm. you know? And I think we just need to speak grace today because yes, you don't know, what I learned through that experience is you don't know what you're capable of no, put in the right yeah. situation. No, and I really believe that the Bible says we are capable of all evil mm -hmm. except for the grace, the of, grace God. of God. Mm -hmm. And when you know that, you can, you can look at anything and not mm -hmm. judge it. Mm -hmm. you Know, and, and bring then, grace to it. Cheryl, that's good because all of us, like when I hear about your you know, father, mother, it was the same as when I went through my own personal situation and my father showed the love of God to me, which honestly changed the trajectory of my life. I was seriously going here and I was at a really bad place in my life and my dad said, I will love you, you are my daughter, mm -hmm. I call you my own. Mm -hmm. And I remember going, that's the father's love. And I actually went in the direction towards yeah, God right. versus away. Right. And I think for parents, it's a call out to parents. Mm -hmm. As yes. much as you feel it's about you, your kids reflecting about mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. you've got to continue to yeah. extend grace and mm -hmm. love to them because it will change their life. And Absolutely. it's your testimony of it, that. It changed my life and it completely, um, you know, gave me a more of a sense of purpose and calling for, mm -hmm. for what I do, what I do now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if, if I hadn't gone through this, perhaps I, I wouldn't have the um, the empathy and the grace and, and the ability to, to not judge, you know, mm -hmm. any situation mm -hmm. because, but by the grace of God, yeah. that could be me. Yeah, and yeah. you said it beautifully when you said that you came out of the dark mm -hmm. and into the light. That's right. And you know what, I think that's what Full Circle is all about. It's just mm -hmm. encouraging people, encouraging you to come out of the dark. You're not alone. You, sometimes we feel so alone and, and we're kind of hidden away in the dark somewhere thinking, oh, nobody knows what I'm going through or what I've done. Mm -hmm. God would never love me if he knew what I, I'm like. Mm -hmm. You know, we invite you to just, you know, shed all of that. Come into the light of his marvelous love, it says in the book mm -hmm. of Ephesians. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling there's some people watching right now, Colleen, that really need to know, how do I do that? How did you do that? How were you able to shake off your past mm -hmm. and come into the light of a future with mm -hmm. God? Well, I, I would say one day at a time. Mm -hmm. One day at a time. I remember, um, you know, there are passages of, of scripture, in particular um, in Philippians, talking about um, not being anxious for anything, and mm -hmm. and the relationship was a very unhealthy one. Like we, you know, like it just was a very unhealthy relationship, in and out and back and forth, and and during the time of. of being in the dark, that's kind of how the enemy was able to really glory in that. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to completely mess you up. Mm -hmm. I remember there were nights when I would, you know, read that passage of scripture, um, talking about not to be anxious for anything, but but with prayer and with thanksgiving, bring my requests to God. Mm -hmm. And then and, and His peace and will his guard peace. my heart right. and will guard my mind. That's right. And instead of thinking and worrying about this, that, and the other, think about what's true, think about mm -hmm. what's lovely, think about what's praiseworthy. Mm -hmm. I remember nights where I would open the Bible up and literally put it over my head because I could not even sleep. Mm -hmm. I needed peace. So I think that I would encourage anyone um, just one day at a time and really know that God has given you the faith and the grace mm -hmm. to get through today. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow we'll worry yeah. about that tomorrow. And, and I love too that we're never disqualified. That's right. That I think in your testimony, you say that no matter what the enemy says or mm -hmm. even people say to you, That's that right. because you're a Christian, but you've done this, you can't do any work for God. Mm -hmm. It's a lie. It's a lie. And you need to bring to light that God loves us as we are, yes. yeah. hopes for more for you. That's right. And that we're never disqualified. He always has a plan. Amen. That's good. That is good. Either cleansing so is real or it isn't. Does yeah. Exactly. Forgive us or doesn't, yeah, is, right. the, is the sin gone or isn't it? That's you know right. what I mean? And we have yeah. to live like it is. That's right. Because mm -hmm. that's truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it all starts with a relationship with God through the cross of Jesus. And that is available to all of us. It's available to you. Throughout this program, you've seen a phone number on the screen. That's our prayer line. And we would love to talk with you, pray with you, introduce you to the one who loves you no matter what you've done. He offers you a brand new start and that is Jesus. Thank you for being with us. Keep your eyes on Jesus. It is all about Him. Bye.